Well, good morning, everybody. Wither Dave again. How you all doing? Well, like I told you, I can't keep my brain from screaming at me. I, I do these quite a bit. These are these little whimsical doors. Everybody's done them. You know, I've done them for a long time, and I had this little piece of sugar pine here. It's kind of got a little warp in it, stuff like that. And I thought, well, let's just do a little funky door here. This will be like a little stone. Like, you know, and there's your door. I'm going to put a little oval in it. Just like that. There you go. These are your, your boards for your door. I'll cut all this. And then I'll make some kind of little, I'll take a little piece of wood and make a little hander right there and stuff. So now the next step I got to do is just take it over to the old bandsaw. Just whoop, whoop. Cut that out. Let's carve it out a little bit. You know, hang on, folks. Let's get you over here. It's going to be a little noisy. Stuff like that. <clears throat> Let's walk you over here. I apologize for the shaky camera. Let's see here. Got to get you up here, folks. There you go. I Let's see if I can... Yeah, you can kind of see it. I'm just going to use the base. I'll just put this new blade on here. And everything. Unfortunately, I love this saw. This is a Rikon. Can't buy this blade anywhere where I live at. It's 111 inches. So, I have to order one every time. So, here we go. Let's just cut that. I ain't going to take but a second. back up here we can see it a little bit better yeah it's just a weird little shape i just drawed that's what art is it's just fun just fun all right let's walk back over here sit you back down and i'm gonna just do some fun art today i know i gotta finish up the the cowboy duck and that's coming and you know and everything and i'll show you some of my um uh Abstract art here in a minute again because I just did another piece. Love abstract. You know. Okie dokie. Let's see here. One folk. Hang on, folks. I gotta get the old bag here. She's sitting right down here. She's my. There she is. I can feel it. I know the shape of it. Yes. Sir. She's stuck. There she is. That's my chip carving knife. We're just gonna let's just cut this right here. Let's just get this lined and everything. Can you see, folks? I believe we're gonna have a little rain today, and that's all right. Let's water up the old mountain and get our flowers growing. And you know, seen a bear last night in my yard. A little scrumpy little thing. He, I think he needs some more vittles. Yeah, bears all the time. I'll be sitting out carving or when I do mow the grass. I'll be glad, I'll be glad when I can start mowing my grass. But he was just walking in my yard. You know, just, they don't bother me. I love my bears. I do. We're just going to set some of these lines in here. Just a few, you know. Yeah. When you see, folks, I hope so. Like I said, I, when my wife can come out and video it, she can get right down over my shoulder. Let's try to scoot up here. Drop this camera down just a smidge more. Let's see, is that better, folks? I hope so. Let's 
you know, like I said, it's going to rain some and, you know, makes the old grass grow. Ain't much we can do about that, but I tell you, I'd rather see grass than snow. You know me. Yes, and I would. All righty. Now, we'll use that new knife that my friend gave me the other day. Gene. We're just going to set these little lines here. We're not carving them. We're just going to set some profiles. You know, just set some lines. That's all you got to do. And oh, there you go. Now, these can be made out of anything. I got buckets over here with scrap. And, you know, this piece of wood here, it was a little bent like I am. And... I thought, well, I was trying to sleep, and it just, this shape just kept screaming at me in my sleep. That's the unfortunate thing as an artist, my brain don't shut off. You've heard me say that. So, I uh, came out here in the shop and everything, and sat down here, and I thought, well, I just... That's some fun art. This I, I love carving these and I made a lot of these. And everything. Let's separate that. And like I said, there's no right, there's no wrong. There's just this is just ABC carving. Lord, if you can tie your shoes, you can sure in the world do this. I'm gonna tell you that right now. Very simple. There's no right, no wrong. It's just, this is fun. This is fun. Yeah, it's supposed to be about 70 degrees here today. And I'd be glad when it stays out where it's not so cold in the morning because I love plants. And I got a front porch. I grew up with the front porch. And I love my front porch. And we got to clean it and everything because, you know, over the winter it gets dirty and dusty. And got to get the old garden hose out. And, Everything. Do a little scrub and do a little paint touch up and a little, little this and a little that. And before you know it, I can sit out on my porch and I'll put all my flowers out there. And we, uh, my wife and I, we love flowers. Now you can see that right there. We've just profiled it. You can see all these lines right here. All right, let's go ahead and, and drop this door in. Can you see, folks? I did run this with that chip carver but i'm gonna run it one more time yeah just to and we don't want to go really deep right now just set your line oops see now she's starting to pull so we got to take it this way yeah we'll set them baby dolls down there you go There you go. And you see that? You got your door started. The little whoop de doo. <laughs> whoop 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 de doo. You know me. Folks, I love to carve or build. I'm the most happiest when I'm using my hands. I've always been that way. I'll be sitting in the house. I can only sit so long. And I'm thinking about different builds. And Shoot, I was thinking about building jewelry boxes this morning. I've been asked about that. and I used to build custom jewelry boxes. But I want to do something different. Not just the boring jewelry box. I've got something planned. You know? And it involves a lot of tools... Just building the box itself, it, you know, takes a lot of time and effort. And, you know, you got to hook four pieces of wood together and make it look like something. You know, I mean, you can do a, uh, a 45 with splines in it. You could do dovetails, box joints, or you could just, you know, you could put pins in it, dials, um... Shoot, if you could afford that 
uh, uh, fest tool that has that domino. I can't afford it, but if you could afford one of those, well, you could have that. I do have a biscuit. Yeah, you know, I've done them with biscuits, but I've got I got to build a jig for my table saw. I don't have that jig anymore. I I don't know whatever happened to that box cutting jig I had. I made a jig to cut splines and stuff years ago, which I don't think it would fit this table saw. But I had another table saw, so that's all right. But I just got to make another jig so I can clamp the box down and cut these splines into it. And then I will use a different style of wood if I do it this way. You know, if I use maple, then I would use maybe walnut or cherry or something for the splines. But there's something else, I'm, you know, that that's still boring. Everybody does it that way and, or, you know, hooks the box that, box that way. So what can I do to the box? Well, I've, I've come up with a couple ideas. I'm not going to reveal it right now, you know, but here in the near future, if you see me building a, this jury box, it kind of looks a little weird. Well, <laughs> you know, I'm playing, you know, I'm just playing. It's like I am right now talking to you folks. You know, I'm just sitting here, just whittling away, getting this door set. What I want to do is drop this door where she's got, like it bevels in here. And she's thicker here and everything, but she bevels back into there where the stone's going to be. That's what I'm doing. You know, just like I told everybody, just take your time. One of my biggest sayings is, is Rome wasn't built in a day. You know, I used to tell people that when I, when I, when I would uh, do my construction business. You know, be a major problem. I, I did a lot of Victorian restoration. And they go, well, how long is it going to take? And I said, well, uh, it's in really bad shape. And I'm going to tell you the other thing uh, is Rome wasn't built in a day. It's going to take a lot to fix this. I can't estimate that. You know, back then, all that stuff was handmade. So I'd have to build jigs and I'd sit down for hours and make sconces and gingerbread and I would hand scroll a bunch of stuff and I made a lot of things up for, for Victorian homes. You know, a lot of stuff. That was back in the day. I, I uh, used to love doing that. I did. I did. Now, I don't do it anymore. Can't climb like I used to, folks. The old backaroo just don't like me. Too much hard work. That's all right. I'd rather just sit around and talk to you guys and do a little wood carving and start to feel better. And I'm, uh, maybe next week I may go out and talk to some people and try to set up some shows. You know, I miss showing. That's one reason I moved here to Tennessee. I wanted to, wanted to show my love. You know, and every once in a while, like I said, I'll get somebody and they'll sit down and they may be a carver or they may just want to learn the carving. And it makes an old man happy. Yes, it does. All right, so there's that. We just got it set. You know, this one sets a little deeper. So let's just take this side here, this down a little deeper. And you can cut hinges on this and make it look like it has a hinge. Uh, even though this is stone, you can make a hinge like it dives into here and it just the, the, the back of the hinge you don't even see. You know, you this it's your brain. You just got to let your brain tell you what you want. There's no blueprints to these folks. They're not. These are just fun. Just a basic, just a piece of wood laying on the floor. You know? I make these all the time. Paint them up. Give them some love. You know? It's so simple. Alrighty. Now, let's just get rid of these corners. These corners will keep grabbing my hand. Yeah. Oh, there's that beautiful knife sound. 
Yes, he is. You just knock these corners off. Yeah. There you go. Yes. Alrighty. Now, see, that corner's gone. Now, a person can come in here. And just, you know, you don't have to be precise. You know. So it likes to look like some stone. Irregular stone. You know. There you go. Sometimes I'll use a coping saw. I mean, I use steel hand saws and I'll cut some lines in to help start them. You know. You just, you know, you can do that if you have a little coping saw. I don't know if you, you folks know what a coping saw is. Maybe I need to show you. Just hang on, folks. Let's get these lines started. All right, one second. Let me show you what a coping saw is. Give me one second, folks. I have all kinds of hand tools. And I still believe in hand tools. Not all the time you can get in there with a electric tool. So, I still, I grew up with hand saws. I built furniture with hand saws. Cut all kinds of stuff with hand saws. Just a, just a coping saw. That's all that is. And you know, if you just want to come in here and start your lines, set them a little deeper, you can do that. You know, you can just come right in here. You know, we set these lines. You know, yeah. I see I already marked them, so I'm just following my lines. Just where I can set them a little different. There you go. Now see, look, I've already set those lines. See? Now see how light them are with the knife? Because this is going across grain. In grain. So it's going to be a little hard on the knife. So we're just going to mark these lines. There you go. Go out and buy you a coping saw. Now, as you can see, you can see them lines better now, can't you? Yeah! Just got to use your own, it's just done with a hand saw. It's a little coping saw. Set that little line down there. Alrighty. Now, just come in here. Now, the best thing I can tell you about stonework is... Think like a rock. You know? That's all you gotta do. Just, I'm gonna be a rock today. Or I'm gonna be a boulder today. A stone today. You know, we're just gonna set all these in here. And then we'll add some more detail. Now see? Creating it with that, that saw gives me a nice stop cut. See how that knife just stops? A little V-cut right here. Oh, no, yeah. 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 There's a little tight area because it's really against the grain. Get a hold of that, darling. Don't slip with the knife, folks. Listen to that blade bend. Now, look at that. We really set them, haven't we? Now... Like I said, you just gotta think like a when you see folks, you just think like a little rockaroo. Add some love to it. You know, mess it up, add some valleys and little doodaddies and you know, cut in here. So you gotta cut that in right there. But this is gonna be separate. These will take a little time because each one, you know, has you know, it's just they're individual. So these will take a little bit of time. You just don't you just don't you just want to profile and go to the next one and profile. Listen to the knife. Everything. Just listen to that old knife. And do a little love and the, you know. You want them not perfect. I mean stones are not perfect. Nope. See, when I used that coping saw, it allowed me to have a really nice stop cut. And I do that quite a bit on, you know, carvings. I'll just get the old saw out, the old hand saw. 
or the hatchet. I've done it with hatchets and put in stop cuts. Keep your line right here. There you go. Take some of that out. It's a shadow point. I, I hear where this door is bending down. Is what this door wants to look old and ratty. You know, and all these are plank boards right here that I've created. Just the, the old plank boards. This, where is my tool at? Here it is. It's like a little dog leg. See? I'm going to take this down just a little bit. There you go. Keep your pencil handy. And we're going to add a lot of love to these doors. Chatter them up, a little whoop de doo Like I said, keep your pencil ready. And if you carve through your line and you're, you're really, you know, oh my, I just carved a line. Well, draw it back. Draw it back. You know? And the only thing is here, I think I'm going to run this just a little bit more this way. Yeah. Yeah. Like I said, nothing's perfect. Nothing is perfect. Yeah, I like that better. It's a little bit longer. Yeah, see, it's kind of, you know, wiggle woggle there. Where's my knife? Boom. Hopefully when it warms up, I'll... I have a place I carve in the mountains. Oh, it's got a beautiful stream and water. And it's just, it's out in the mountains. And I just sit there and I love it. I'm hoping I can do a video there. Probably going to bring my wife that day because you know, I'm trying to set this tripod up and everything. And it's just going to be a whittle day. Just a whittle day. Like we're doing right now. We're just whittling. We're having fun. There's no right, no reason here. It's just having fun. And like I said, you can use, if you prefer a V gouge, you can come in here. You can you can set these up with, and wiggle that in there a little bit and set these lines a little deeper. You can do that. I prefer a knife most of the time. See right there, I want to cut just a little shadow point right there. Get that rock like it's tucked in there. It's not straight. You understand? Yeah, because it's a, it's, a, it's a stone. It's a rock. They're not perfect. Yeah. Yeah, they're not. Now, yeah, let's just see here. Yeah. Yeah. And I find if you take carvings like this light in here, you know, you can see a little bit. But I like to, before I finish anything, I like to go out in natural light. I'll take it in my house. I look at carvings in, under different lights and everything because that way I can see where I don't like or I may have missed a point or, you know, something just don't look right. So I like to put it in different lights and different angles and just sit there and study it for just a few and everything and then I'll finish it. Yeah. Yeah. Ah, see? We are just rocking and rolling here. Yes, we are. I wish I knew how to edit, because I, I would like to have some music in the background sometimes. Just some soft music. You know, nothing screaming. But just something soft, just... You know, I live in the mountains, maybe it's a banjo playing, I don't know. A fiddle. You know, a mandolin. I think that would be cool. 
But you gotta know how to do all that. And <laughs> I told you, you're talking to the wrong man. And look at them. See, look, we went from flat to uh, there. You go, just like a just a stone. You know, and there's a lot of work to these. You know, you gotta look at them, put some whoop de doos, and you know, where do you need a car? Where does it need to sink in at? Where does a shadow point need to be? Where does it need to? Is it too thick here? Is it, you know, you just got to think like a rock. Now, I like to carve it on the back side. I want to knock them corners off. I want to, you know, I'm not going to carve the back. I'm, I just want them knocked off. Get back in here and do a little bit more love right here. Yeah. And I don't want, see how this is wrinkled here? I know it's going to be hard, but this has got a little swoop here. It's not straight. That's because I want it to look like an old piece of wood. You know? Like it's just been around a hundred years. That's all. Yes. Mm-hmm. Just got to keep looking. The, you're... you're you backpedal all the time. You'll be carving forward and you'll reach back where you was carving and you'll carve into there more. Just kind of carve around in here and hit and miss. And, you know, you want these things to... You, I see things and then I got to jump back and fix them. And I go forward. And I go backwards. And I go forward and I go sideways. And, you know... Just having some fun on an old rainy old day. Yeah. You want to make sure you touch everywhere on a carving. Don't leave it. You know, get it carved. Touch everywhere. A full surface of it. And, you know, don't leave something uncarved. When I was a kid, I I started carving, and I just, you know, I couldn't understand, you know, why I could do this. You know, I could pick up a stick, and, you know, remember the old stick chickens? I could do that, and I, I uh, gave Gene a peach monkey that I carved, because he had never carved one, and I gave him one that was started, and... I seen an old man carving that when I was just knee high to a grasshopper. And I asked him, well, what you carving? And he said, a peach seed monkey. Well, that really intrigued me because I was just a kid. A monkey? He goes, yep. And he showed me that. Well, I watched him do it and I just glued right to it. And I've carved them for years. It's old art. A lot of times I'll make necklaces out of them. You know. I will. So I gave Dean one. I was started and showed him the fundamentals. It's very simple to carve it. And just carve it. Carve you a few monkeys. I told him to get, when you, if you get a peach, go buy you a peach, eat the peach, wash it off very thoroughly. It's best to carve them right then because they're kind of green. They're still soft. Now I've carved them both ways. and You know, I used to carve them with my Barlow tree pocket knife and I don't do that anymore. Nope. I use a paper blade on an X-Acto knife. It's sharp. It's easy to get into there. You don't wear a blade out or nothing. That's the best thing to carve them with. You don't wear them out. Looky there. We are coming up with that stone. You know, we are. Got a big one here. I said, I just drawled it. I don't care. I just drawled just like you went out in the field. I've laid stone. I've laid a lot of it. I used to watch the men in my hometown, the older men, lay that stone when I was a kid. And, you know, like I said, my grandmother told me to keep my mouth shut and only ask questions when you need to, when it's the right moment. So I, I just would watch and I learned how they would strike that hammer and cut that stone in their hand and chip it in. And they set it in there like a puzzle. And you know some of that walls 
are still standing and are over a hundred years old and there's no mortar in it. Because they just knew how to cut stone. They did. And I did a lot of stone work back when I was younger. I've carved stone. Yep. I'm not as sufficient as I am with a piece of wood, naturally. But this that's what I like about some of the old buildings. I love going to towns and seeing old limestone buildings. I see all that's been hand, especially it's old. That's all that's been hand cut. And some of the carvings into it. Oh my lord. They're beautiful. They're just beautiful. A lot of history there. Stone masoners and people that just work with stone. There's a few people in this world still working with stone. I, you know, they're not, they're not allowing the art to die. And I'm glad. Yeah. Lucky there. Okay, we are just right up one side. I like this a lot. Yeah. And like I said, the door, these these little plank doors, all you gotta do is just I draw the line. You just wanna start it. There you go. Take your tip of your blade. Set that little dart in. If you go want to use a uh, V tool, you can use it. I don't care. Every once in a while, when I cut hair and stuff, I kind of I'll use it. I used to do it with a knife, but my eyeballs ain't as good, so I'll, I'll use a V tool. I've got all different styles. I got micro, and I got I got just all kinds of V tools. I bought that one right there at a thrift store. Yeah. Four bucks. They didn't know what they had. <laughs> I seen that and jumped on that like a tick on a hound dog. Yes, I did. I knew what it was. I, we got a. I love going to thrift stores and antique places, and I I know. I, first thing I do is I go look at the tools. I do. Yep, I do. I see right there's a plank board. See how that is? Now it, none of this has been carved. It's too. Too flat and too this and too that. It's got to got to get carved on the face of it and all this is. Some of these will be set down lower than the other. That's just how I feel. You know, like I said, carving is just how you feel. You know, you got to make it your own. You see this and you're like, well, I want to, I, I want to carve it. I want to carve one just like it. Well, either you draw it or you holler at me and I'll I'll draw it for you and send it to you. I want to see what you do. I don't want you to be me. I don't want to be you. I want you to be you. You create yourself. I can show you the fundamentals of this knife. You know, some basics. You know. And then you just got to jump on the old horse and be you. That's the best advice I can give you. We're not done. We're going to add some, a lot of... A lot of things into this wood here. So these little dudes here take a little time, folks. They do. They're not like no 15-minute carvings. If you want to put some love into them. You know, make each one unique. Each one a little different. Yeah. I mean, you can come in here and say that this has a, a knot in it right there. You just, you could hollow that out, or it's, you know, you come in here and you can break it up like this, like it's split, which that's how I'll, I'll do it. You know, you cut that little in there, and it'll look like it's split, and then you put a little knot in. I've actually took these little, right here, and actually drawed a little, a little bird in here, and carved the little bird like he's peeking out. Yeah, I have. I haven't done one in a while. And like I said, if you want to, you can take a V-gouge. And you can clean up your line right there. And it, you know, it's going to give you some more different depth. You know, and you can just come right down here. And there you go. If you want to use your V-gouge, it doesn't matter. It doesn't. And see, I'll, I'll redraw all that window and stuff. We're just, you know, adding some stuff into here. And like I said, you know, you can just come in right here. Come in right here. And just take that out. And then you just... It looks like an old piece of wood. Yes. Yeah. 
It's like he been it's been split. Well, yeah. see, just add that right into there. And like I said, always have your piece of sandpaper. You know, this kind of knocks the edges off. That's gonna tell you where you need to put some love. You know, I, I tell a lot of my students I teach just carry your little piece of paper and kind of knock. Just you know, you're not sanding it. I see right there, right there. See that right there? I missed that. See, that's fiery enough. I didn't see that when I carved it. So we're going to come back in here. We're going to cut that little little do daddy off. You know? I mean, missed it. I just added some, and I'll add some more granary in here, all through here, and do some love. But there's that. See how that it just looks like it's just been just split. And I'll add some more. I'll tear it this way. And, you know, it's just a a little love. You know, it is. Uh huh. I go Sunday to Burger King and set and carve and you know I need to finish up the eagle. I got I got finally got the stars all drawn in. It's not the funnest thing to draw them stars in. We grab it. Ah, see right here. I finally got all these stars drawn in. You know, really tight area. I did make this bigger. Kind of got them in, you know, points are facing up and all that. So, I'll, I, I got to add the stars and do some more carving on the beak right there and a little right here. I got to add some more. Look at it. Like I said, I'll look at it different light. But, I'll be, uh, I'll take that probably with me Sunday and just uh, sit and do that. If I, like I said, if I knew how to edit, I would make a video out of that. The, but they play music there, and I don't know how to pull the music out. Because that's all about editing. And that's only the bad thing. Is I'll, I'll, I'll go to Burger King sometimes, and I'll carve for... I could, If I knew how to edit, I could do three or four videos, because I'll carve for three or four hours sometimes. If I get comfortable, and I mean, I, I chair dance. I'll plug my music in, and in with my ears, and listen to what I want to listen to. And I will just... I, I chair dance. And I'll sit there and I get into this, this realm of carving and I just don't move. I don't. I got my coffee and I'm just sitting there just dancing to the music and swinging the knife. You know? And if people stop, I'll, I'll shut the music off and I'll talk. And, you know, I have, like I said, I give so much away, you know. I always have. Let's see here. What if I got that one? I got paint in my pockets, folk. I had to bring out some of my paint. But like I said, I'll even take and he's he's I just got a painting. See the little baby mouse? He's a little one compared to one of the larger ones. I don't throw nothing away. He's just a little baby. Yeah. And these right here, the reason I carve these is I find kids. And I like and I just hand it to them and say, What would you name a mouse? And I tell you what, it just to hear some of the names out of the little little kids, it makes an old man happy. I had a girl you know, I have I you know, they'll give me hugs and stuff like that. I had that happen here a few weeks ago and she asked her mom if she could give me a hug and he said, well, if he would like to have one. And I said, Lord, yes. I'll take a hug right now. Makes my old man happy. Well, looky there. We have run up one side. Now, it's not done. you got to add some more love. You know, just a little bit more love. That's all you got to do. A little more whoop-de-doo. Whoop! Whoop! Whoop-de-doo! <laughs> Now, when I cut that window, I won't, I won't cut that line all the way through. Now, remember that. I'll just come up through here and stop, stop. I'll probably move this window even more. It, it I don't know. I kind of like. It. I think it would work. I think what's throwing me off is all the crazy lines that I've already put on here. 
Yeah, I think it worked. I think it's this right here. I don't want it perfect. Nope. Sometimes I'll do these and I'll I'll recess this back a little bit right here. And I'll do like I'll paint yellow in it. If I like like a light's on. You know, just do that. I mean or you can put you can even do this. You could actually come in here and you could you could you could do a, uh, like it had the wood in the window. Uh, shoot, I gotta draw right. You know, you could do like lattice work. You could just do so much. It's kind of hard to see with I got so many lines there. It's confusing everybody. It's confusing the old man. Come on, I'm telling you, the best thing to do is get the old sandy paper out. And just get rid of a lot of these lines. There you go. And then, then just recorporate these lines back in here. Yeah, a person can understand it. Yeah. Looks much better. Yeah. And you can tell, I just draw that it's not, it's not symmetrical, but that's the trick. You don't want it symmetrical. You know, just an oval window and a little a little weird little door. And I kind of like that little weird door. You know? I do. Let's see where I use that saw at. Now I can just cut right into that. And he's already created a stop cut. And now this is some really tight end grain. Yes. This is some sap wood here. See that different color coloration right there? That's got sap in it. It does. Make sure your knife is cleaned off. Always want to look because that sap sometimes can get on that knife and that ain't good. Gotta get that off. I'm telling you. Uh, I wonder if it's warmed up a little bit. I've, like I said, I do videos with my door shut so I can not have noise and stuff. But like I said, I can't edit. So I don't know if it's warmed up some or not. Let me bring you over here and show you my um, abstract. I did another one. I got another one I'm going to carve. Now. This has got to be two. I've, uh, I've seen sometimes I think I turn carvings like 14 million times. It seems like it sometimes. Now this should be two. So right there is going to have to be a, like, a, like a little V. Because here's one stone and here's another one. So if you left that solid there, that's what it, you, it was looking like. It looked like just one stone and everything. And I don't want that. I want it to be separate, like it has a couple. Let me get this dog leg out and everything. I'll just take this this way. Yeah. Like this door's all, like the door's just shut into the, the stones. It's set in. Set in stone. There you go. Yes, and like I said, get your pencil root out and just... Come on, just draw that back up there. Yeah. Yes. There you go. I think this is going to be pretty neat. I am. I like this a lot. Yeah. Oh, Lordy. Well, I probably need to be thinking about getting off here. Let's go over here and look at some of this abstract art. Oh, Lordy. Yes, sir. All right. First, you know, there's the one I did the other day. You know, there's the face and stuff like that and everything. And then I just draw this one. There's that one. There's the mouth and 
all that, and the eyes, and he's kind of funky looking. Just some abstracts, and of course, there's the birds and stuff and everything. Well, I just wanted to show you a little bit of love, and I wanted to get on here this morning and, you know, and jump on here and just do some fun art. That's what I wanted to do. Let's get you up here. Lordy have mercy. Maybe a little taller. All right. Hang on, folks. I got to get this camera situated. There's all these little doodads on this stand sometimes loosens up. Whoo! Well, just wanted to get on here real fast and, you know, show you. Just make a door. Get out in the shop and there's no. Have fun. Take a pocket knife. I don't care if you sharpen a spoon and made a knife out of a file. Anything. Just anything. You get a box cutter. Exact, a regular exacto knife. It doesn't matter. Just grab you a piece of wood. You know, anything. You know, you can make. He can take this right here. Cut these little corners off this piece of wood. Square it here. Make a round oval. You know, and this is this is just scrap. You can just take this right here, and you can just go like this, like that. And right there's your little miniature door. You know. You could just do that, see? You could just draw you a little whoop de doo Scrap wood. That's all you need. You don't have to break the bank of doing this. No, Lord, no. But then you can create you something like this. Then you can, if you want to go a little bit further, you could put a platform on it where it sets on there and you could do little doodaddies on the platform. It doesn't matter. I've done them all kinds of ways. But anywho... I just want to say thank you all for following me and giving me likes and showing me the love. And we deeply appreciate it and everything. And I'll get back on the duck and um, I'm starting to feel better. So I'm going to start getting ready to use the ads and the draw knife and the hatchet. I want to do that bow and I want to do a full tutorial on that. And, you know, I know a lot of people do it, but this is my version, you know. But I just want to say thank you again, and everybody have a blessed day, and I will just talk to you later.